everybody. I remember, uh, uh, I think it was last week, I said I'd come on and show you how I will gift wrap this for my sister's birthday. So I've got a piece of paper from one of the uh, cheap pads that I think was from Pound World. So I've got a piece of paper there. Tissue paper, double sided paper, uh, no, tissue paper, double sided tape, glue dots, I don't think I need. Scoring tool, the gifts that I'm going to wrap. Scissors and a cutting tool. So here goes. I'm going to do a Leslie Brumfield. If you haven't seen her, go check her channel out. She's fantastic. And I'm going to wing it as she calls it. So I want to make a base for this to start with. So I put all my things on here as I would like it to look. So that's how I want it to look together. So I can eyeball this and basically see that I have got half an inch either side that I can take it in. So I'm going to not cut but score so I can get you in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to score at half an inch all the sides. What am I doing? Well, some of you might remember I broke my score tool in the video back in the summer and uh, replaced it yet. But that's the beauty of these, you can just... Okay, why did I do that? Uh, I'm hoping this is going to be steady enough doing it at half an inch. If not, it's no great shakes. Just go and get a bigger piece of card. If I score, is it one inch? Right. Last side. Do you know what? I wish I had my glasses on because I've been, it's really, really dull day today. That's my excuse. And I really wish I had my glasses on, actually. Right, so that's scored half an inch. Just going to burnish them down. Because this card especially needs burnishing because it's... Um... Oh, hold on. Hey! We're going somewhere. <laughs> it's... Um... Thicker card stock, and plus it's got like the glitter on it. I never find these ones are actually ideal to do with your cutting blade. Burnish your blade, right? So I've burnished them, all the sides. There we go. You have the little squares here on both sides, so I'm just going to cut. On that score line, one, two, three, and the fourth one, four. Right. Line up okay. Yep. Right now, before I do anything else to this, I'm going to put score tape. Um, my ca every time I move my camera, it keeps moving a different way. Right, I'm going to put score tape all along so I know that it's straight. You'll see why. When I put the box together and how I do it. I do mine slightly different um, with cello wrap because I see people using so much cello wrap through wrapping the whole thing up in cello wrap. Um, and you have to cut a huge amount of cello wrap to do anything that is a decent size. And 
I am quite frugal and I like to find ways where I can save as much as I can. So to me using a great big piece of sellotape, uh, cellophane, like I've seen people do on mugs and that, it's just a bit wasteful. But that's just me, each to their own. You might totally disagree with me. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the score tape back um, at the corners. You just snip where that line is where you've already snipped. Just snip it. Separate the score tape. Stick the corner together. Do the same with this side. Peel it back a bit. Stick it down. It's another side dump. Do this side. You don't need to really see me do this. I can do this off camera. There we go. So we lifted it and we're just going to stick it down. Straight as we can. It's stuck down. Do the last side now. So I don't want to stick down. Uh, if you've got a bit overlapping, just push it back again. Remember, you've made that snip line. Let's just snip. Ooh, make sure you've got the right. Uh, I snipped the wrong one then. Snip it again. Just. Right, so you've got a little tray, basically. You've got a little tray. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to the tissue paper's a bit big. You don't need a full sheet in something this size again. Just Put a bit of tissue paper in, or do I want to do that first? No, I don't. So the reason why you've got this this round the edge is because that's where you can stick your cellophane. <coughs> Get my cellophane. Here's my cellophane coming out. Right, so like I say, a lot of people do it this and they, they lift it up and you have to have a big piece of it lifted up. But this is how to do it a frugal way. So I want to make sure that I get all this on. Just so you see it. So we take the score tape. This is going to be the... Um, back of it so I'm just going to position it in the middle of the back then I'm going to take the score tape off this side pull it taut line it up there we go, it's stuck to that side. So we've got two sides done. Right, I'm going to do this side now. I'm trying to get the best position on the camera so you're not going to miss what I'm doing. So we've done two sides. I'm going to take the score tape off this side.
pull it taut. So I'm trying to do it and look at the camera at the same time, which isn't helping. Right, so we've got the last side that we're going to do, which is this side. That's where I cut it by mistake being close, never mind. Let's do it that way. So again, pull it up, pull it taut against your sticky tape, and then you're back to the back now. There. So again, same principle, pull it taut round the corner, join it up, right, there you go, you've got cello wrap, you've got your tray in the bottom, you've got your cello wrap, right, I'm going to trim this down, It doesn't have to be neat, you're not going to see it, it's going to be all scrunched up. Right, so I've got my tray, I've got my cello wrap on it and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, whoa, I don't need all that. Because look, it's only that high and the bag stands all the way up there. So that's, that's just going to be a waste, really. I could do two out of this. So, I'm going to get this and I'm going to cut it. I'm, going to, I'm basically cutting it in half. I'm basically cutting it in half. There we go. So it's half the size now. And I've got another half for another gift. And that's all the, well you see, we didn't lose that much of a strip. So now I'm going to make this look a bit pretty. This is for my sister's birthday because she loves it the candles. So I've got my box. I'm going to put some tissue paper. Actually, I think I could get away with both of them. Put some tissue paper in there. And I'm going to put the centrepiece, which is, make sure you scrunch this down and everything's covered. Okay. So I'm going to put her unicorn in there, which is basically the centrepiece. I'm going to put a candle on top of there. She loves Yankee candles, you see. I'm going to put a candle on there. We'll press down it's tissue paper. I'm going to put another candle on here. Right now, if you're really bothered, I mean, really, really bothered about the moving round, um, I didn't think I'd need the blue dots, so I'll put them there. If you're really bothered about the moving round, glue dot the bottom. Just put glue dot on the bottom. It's, it's, Packaged up on the bottom anyway, it's not going to hurt the candle. Nothing will get hurt. Just bob it onto the tissue paper. Again, you can do this with the tissue paper if you're really particular on, on how it looks. Do it to the tissue paper. Then we gather them all up like we do. That's going to stick up though. This is the beauty of doing these though, because you can just rearrange um the tissue paper gather it all up i'm just going to stop you there because i've forgot my hold on a minute right i'm back this is my secret uh ally when i do these sallow bags because these loom bands because they are fantastic when you're doing these sallow bags so just gather it up like you would. Put your loom band. It's easier to do. I'm messing around with string. Pull it up. Pull it up. There 
there's your gift. Let's put some ribbon on this. Some blues. Pink. So, let's see. I know my sister should like pink. So I'm going to get the pink. what my kids are giving my sister for, I don't know, they'll match the blue up. They're giving them her for her birthday, because the kids adore her, so they, they want to give her this, which is fair enough. So I should have pre cut these, shouldn't I? <laughs> One's way longer. And what was I going to do? I was going to do a purple as well. I'll we'll put a purple on. So all that I'm basically doing is just cutting a curling ribbon off camera. That's all that I'm doing. I find that curling ribbon gets in such a rubble. Just sorting it out. Right. So I've got three pieces of curling ribbon. I like to do all three at the same time. Now curling ribbon can actually snap if you're not overly careful with it. So we're going to curl it. As many of you know, you get the cello wrap from Pan World. Curling ribbon on, and as many of us crafters have got, as we've got so much paper pads, and I just think to buy a container to put it in when you've got the means to do it yourself. Again, you're saving money there. You're not buying these uh, fancy or even a basic, um, you know, container to put it in. You've, you've got your scrapbook paper, use your scrapbook paper. It saves buying. And at this time of year, coming up to Christmas, let's face it, the retailers are having a field day with how much you spend in the shop. So if you make your own little baskets up, your little boxes, you're saving, and you've got, you can put something else in there. Right, so that is, you can still tweak it a little bit if you want to. Pull it up again. And then finish it off with a nice big pink bow. So really you've used minimal supplies to make something look really nice. Just trying to get the back off the bow thing. Does anybody else have the trouble with these bow things? Oh, it's split. Okay, let's glue dot it. It'll probably stay on better if it's glue dotted anyway. Stick a glue dot on. Oh, glue dot don't want to go on it either. This video is going to be a bit long-winded, but I have done it just off spec. So there's your little gift bow stuck in the middle. And there is the little hamper. Again, using absolutely minimal um, supplies to make. There we go. Nice little Yankee Candle gift set there. Okay, I hope that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Bye.